Ruby Bold family and welcome back to season three. I hope you are just as excited as I am right now. It's been a long wait, I know. I'm very, very sorry, but we're back. Back with full action, full vim. I mean, you will not believe what we have for you. Well, guys, my name is Crystal Jean, as you know me, and I do have a surprise for you. In studio with me, I have a co-host. Some of you know her. She's been on a lot of the Be Bold shows as a roving reporter. But this season three, it's going to be double action. Stara Mikatini. Ooh. Hi, everybody. My name is Stara. Um, Chris and I have been doing this together for about five years now. We've been working so hard. We've been all over the continent, really, all over the globe. And... I have always been behind the scenes, but now I decided, you know what, it is time to step out, get busy with the action a bit more, help Crystal out. So we're going to see how that goes. I have been working with Crystal so hard on season three. We've been all over Ghana. We've been to Akosombo, we've been to Eburi, we've been to the north of Ghana, we've been to the east of Ghana, the west of Ghana, the south of everywhere, just to see what young entrepreneurs are doing and how they're making their money. But before we start with season three, Crystal, I think we should just take a look at take what has back. happened Way in back. episode seasons one and two. Let's have a look. We are bringing you education and building opportunity for leadership and development. Season one of the show was filled with fun and laughter, and most of all, lots of inspiration. I'm doing stories like that, that you can change save a life you know? nobody knows tomorrow being bold is not always easy <laughs> bold and broke yeah. what a combination <laughs> but at the end of the day we do it for the betterment of our nation and encourage you all to be, be bold be bold be bold don't forget be bold be bold be bold be bold be bold be bold be bold, be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. believe in yourself you have confidence you have courage you have faith, get the bold and you would make it. Get ready for an even bigger, better and bolder season where we take you to South Africa and focus on educational issues in Ghana. <gasps> Welcome to Joburg. Welcome, Welcome to, to South Africa, Africa and be bold. Be bold. <laughs> this is a story that must be told. This is manifesting of telling you be bold. I love going back into time because then I just remember the journey and the struggles and what we've been through and everything. It's 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 phenomenal. Done and it's so like much. So, everyone's been so yeah. inspired by everyone's story, and that's the whole point of the whole domino effect. Seeing someone doing it, and it's like, wow, I'm inspired. I'm also gonna do my own. It's happening. People have come to us and they've actually been inspired, and they've been on the show because of seeing somebody else. That's that amazing stuff. That's amazing. That's all we want. It yes. means we're accomplishing something, right? Definitely. Definitely. Now, the YouTube web channel, we've been getting a lot of hits on there, over 40,000 plus hits. We're talking about the US, um, UK, Canada, Netherlands, Netherlands Germany, Japan, even. Japan. I saw someone, even in Saudi Arabia, yes, we have about 120 views as well. So it's really getting far and wide and you guys are doing amazing. If you're not getting a chance to see it on TV, that means you can go on the channel to watch all the episodes since season one, season two, and now obviously season three will be on there as well. On our website, www.thebeboldshow.com, which is sponsored by Dream Oval. Also get on there, you can find out more more about, about me yes also very your much your new host <laughs> <laughs> see what's been going on with my life and also we've started a new thing where we have a directory now so every single person you've ever seen on the be bold show will have their contact details their websites whatever you want now crystal yes we have been out of the studio for a while what has happened in your life? I don't know. That has made this happen. I have no idea. I think you need to know. share with the audience what has been going on. Fine. The moment <laughs> has finally come where I'm going to announce what's been going on in my life. I got married! Yay! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I found my Prince Charming, yes. And I'm, I got married, what was it, March 17th? So I have been really excited. It's been a new... Oh, yes, that's us yes. over there. Um, that's our high school sweetheart, by the way. Yes. yes. 
and all the ladies that were part of my ETV crew that came, my friends from all over the world came, and it was such a spectacular moment, and a I'm happy. Beautiful I'm day. I'm super happy. Now you know why we've been <laughs> delaying, but isn't it worth it? If you're going to get married, it's got to be worth it. What do you say? I fully agree. Yes. Definitely. But congratulations, Crystal. It's really fantastic. But, you know, we need to get started with the show. So let's go to our first trip and we went to Akosombo and we went to check out the dam and a lot went down there because we only we found out that the dam is the second largest dam in man-made lake in the world now before this it was the first biggest lake but now because of the Chinese the Chinese are everywhere all the time it's now the second biggest and also very interesting this dam solely provides Ghana with about 60% of its electricity. It's the biggest electricity hub in West Africa and also gives electricity to so many other countries around us. So let's have a brief look at what Crystal and I learned when we were in Akwesombo. Akwesombo proved to be a lot of fun and we learned much more than we had expected. Who would have thought that on our way there, we would get to see real baboons? But right as we got to Shy Hills and the nearby monkey sanctuary, there they were, a whole clan of them. And look, that's the big daddy. He was ready to protect his clan no matter what and ready to pounce us if we came any closer. After this experience, our day was made and we could only imagine the great things that lay ahead of us. As we approached the beautiful and picturesque town of Akosombo, which has often been dubbed as the Switzerland of Ghana, we were amazed once again by its beauty, cleanliness and organization. We've made it all the way to the Akosombo port, our very first stop and the main attraction in this town is the dam. Along with one of the biggest man-made lakes that was built to facilitate it. Our tour guide explained how the dam was built, the impacts it had on forestry and the people living in the area, and the significance of the dam for providing electricity around Ghana and beyond. Agosombo of course already existed, but was rediscovered by the Australian geologist Sir Albert Kitson in his search for bauxite, a rock which is used in working with aluminium. It was Kwame Nkrumah who eventually believed in the construction of the dam in 1961, as it would help the industrial development by providing electricity for the aluminium industry. The construction of the dam took up to five whole years. We really didn't realize how high the dam was until we got to the Volta Hotel that overlooks the dam. The structure is just so huge and extremely high. Akosombo, the town that generates electricity for most of Ghana and beyond. What a place. Can I just say that Crystal was so scared when we were standing on the dam because I think she's slightly afraid of heights. What? I'm not afraid of Honestly, heights. Honestly, Crystal. I'm not afraid of heights. Like, ah. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's just go for a break. But honestly, stay with us. Come back because you will not want to miss what happens after this. Mm -hmm. 